Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Got another haul video up. It's kind of, it's kind of like a mix of books. Some new ones, some that's been in my collection. Uh, this first book here is uh, First Appearance of Ghost Rider, Marvel Spotlight number five. And, uh, you know, it's got some writing and distributor ink. Got a little bit of issues, but it's really nice looking copy, and it's got white pages. I think I paid around 90 for it or something like that. I um, know it's not like the best deal ever, but for the condition and everything, it's fine with me. It's, it's the condition and price that I could agree with. So yeah, that's been in my collection for a while. Uh, this is a pickup from... Uh, from my, my friend actually picked this up for me. He got me two of these. I sold one, so I kept this one. This my this one has that printing error on it. I think it's the uh, dotted lines go through the ear. I think that's why. But yeah, it's a pretty nice copy here. Um, pretty high grade. I never read it or anything. But uh, I'll probably start reading this because I've seen what the artwork looks like. It's pretty cool. So it's Rye issue two, mask variant. And uh, here's another one my friend picked up for me. Got it for cover price. That one I paid five for. It was like one one dollar more. The store sells them for an extra dollar for variants, I guess. I didn't even know that, but looks like they do. So this one, uh, this is a pretty nice one. Cool artwork. I looked through it a little bit. I think I'm going to start reading this too, eventually. Manifest Destiny number four. And then here's a scalp number 43. I, I basically just picked this up because I read uh, Southern Bastards and I know that that rumor was out. But I already knew it wasn't true, like the rumor about it, because I read the, the Twitter quote or whatever, the tweet from, uh, I forget which one of them wrote it, Jason Aaron or Latour, one or the other. But uh, I read it and I, and I totally understood what they meant. I didn't mistake it for a first appearance of anybody because it's not. So, uh, got it for cover price. I think it's, I don't know if it's their first work together on this book or not, but I thought I either read that somewhere or I heard somebody say that. So, if that's the case, then it's pretty cool. So, find me for cover price. Well, here's uh, Five Ghosts number 12. I buy these every, every time they come out because I read it. So, this is a, uh, awesome book adventure type story There's not a lot of those it's like a pulpy type adventure story uh, about this guy is possessed by five literary ghosts and he's trying to save his sister who is uh shoot I forget what happened to her but uh, I think she got uh, messed up in the same accident that he, he's got like a piece of a stone in his chest and I think she also got hurt in that same accident that that caused him to get that so he's still trying to save her or something I gotta reread them all again but I'm up to I read up to 11 so I'm gonna read this one soon uh, this one is another book I read all the time but I'm a couple issues behind so I'm gonna have to uh, pick up reading this again I think this is supposed to be a controversial issue too, but whatever. I I just I thought the cover was cool, so but I like Ryan Otley's artwork. All right, here's another book that's been in my collection. This is uh, Miss Marvel number 18, the first full appearance of Mystique. Uh, and I always wanted this book for a while. It's just I could never really win one in the in an auction or anything, cause I the only place I ever see is on eBay. So. uh I actually did a, uh, let me see, if, yeah, I did a, a lot type buy or whatever where I bought the two of them together. I got number 16 and number 18, so this is the first cameo. This is a really cool cover. So I got both of these. I don't know if I, I think I paid around 60 or something like that. I mean, probably a little bit high. They're supposed to be in very fine. It seems about right. 
But I mean, whatever. 60. I mean, I'm not gonna go and, you know, try to hunt them like crazy. I'd rather just buy it for what I consider reasonable if I'm having, you know, instead of going from comic shop to comic shop and not finding anything. I don't know, a lot of places around here, there's only one place I go to that has good deals really around here. But they haven't really gotten anything new in lately. So this is a new book that I picked up. And uh, the reason I picked this one up, I read about it, and it sounded like a really cool story. And plus, I, I read that it was a double size issue, and I love double size issues, especially for normal price. <laughs> so, uh, I can't stand... I mean, I like image comics, I read a lot of them, but I think that they try to rip you off with the page... Like, the page counts are so low in their books, and they just stuff them with ads. I mean, there's a few, like, Five Ghosts, they don't go crazy with the ads, but... Some of these books, they got like six pages of ads at the end, and it's like, come on, you know? You're going to charge me $4? <laughs> Alright, enough ranting, but yeah, you get the point. So, um, this is about about 12 gods who, uh, they come to Earth as, like, um, I think teen idols, famous teen idols, and uh, they only have two years to live, like in a mortal, in mortal form, in a, you know, on Earth or whatever. I didn't read it yet, but it, uh, it it sounds pretty cool, so I'm gonna check it out. I mean, and this cover is supposed to be the O'Malley variant cover. Uh, the guy, he's an artist who was on Scott Pilgrim, and I I liked this cover even before like they kind of hyped it up. So cool with me. All the other ones had like really big pictures of of the different um, God's faces on them. That one was the only one that looked kind of different from the others, so I liked it. Alright, oh, and this is um, a new book I got off of eBay. I paid uh, 15 for it, and then 5 shipping. thought it was a pretty fair price. It's uh, Walt Disney Comics and Stories, Volume 8, Number 11. And it's a key book, because this is uh, first Carl Barks cover. He's a really good artist. He's known as like the, the best duck artist on the Disney books. So this is the first cover he did for this series here. A little chip by the dog's tail. But for 20 bucks, this is a pretty nice copy. It's got good colors. The table the tables. The staples are tight. There's a little bit of a spine roll, not a lot, but not bad. I flipped through the pages, they're all there. From 1948, golden age. So I think I might get a couple more of these key uh, Carl Barks issues if I can you know I can't get the first book he ever worked on because that's like ridiculously expensive but you never know somebody might not know what it is and put it up for sale and I'll snatch it up right I mean you never know it happens sometimes so uh, yeah that's everything that I got for uh, I guess past week and a half or whatever and uh, I don't really have anything new coming in but I can still put up some videos uh, next week so, uh, you know, I got stuff that I've never shown, so I can, I can make a video out of it. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see everybody later.